One of the most important and scoring sections of your gate paper is the general aptitude section. Comprising of 10 questions totaling 15 marks, it is asked across branches. What is asked in this general aptitude? You have numerical aptitude or the quantitative aptitude section, analytical aptitude which is the logical reasoning part and verbal ability. Not only in gate, the general aptitude section is being tested increasingly in many technical oriented examinations held at national or state level. A very recent example of this is the ISRO notification for scientist post. In that, not only is the general aptitude section a separate part, which is the part B of the paper, totaling 20 marks, 15 questions, 20 marks, but you also need to score at least 50% in that particular part in order to qualify for the next round, which is the interview round. So there is no doubt that the general aptitude section is important and you need to prepare for that particular section. So in this video, I will be sharing some points that you need to keep in mind as to how to prepare for the general aptitude section. Let us start. So the first and foremost thing is to fix a particular time in which you are going to solve the general aptitude section. You have to consciously allocate this time where you are just going to solve general aptitude questions without any distractions. It is going to give you the much needed break from your technical and core subjects. At the same time, it is going to ensure that you do a little bit of general aptitude every day. Now, this time can depend on factors like whether you are in college or whether you are a full-time aspirant or whether you are preparing along with a job. But you need to fix a time on a daily or a weekly basis. And in that particular time, you should have a clear objective as to what you want to do. Right. So just for an idea, if you are, uh, let's say, someone with a full time job or in your final year, you can allocate around half an hour every day or three to four hours on a weekly basis. If you are a full time aspirant or if you are uh, in your third year, then you can give in a little bit more time on a daily basis to so 45 minutes to one hour every day just for practicing general aptitude. As I said, if you do not consciously take out this time for general aptitude, then you will just keep on pushing it till the end. You will keep delaying it and ultimately you will never really get there. This 15 marks in your examination is very important as it can affect your score and it can affect your gate rank. Right. So first and foremost thing is to allocate time consciously in your daily or weekly timetable for the general aptitude section. Now, once you have allocated this time, what should you be doing in it? You need to practice good quality gate level questions. So once you have taken out time, you need to ensure that you practice various different type of questions and through those questions, you can learn concepts. Over the last few years, the level of questions uh, asked in the general aptitude section in gate examination has increased a lot. I would not say tough or difficult, but it but the questions require out of the box thinking. They really test your thinking skills. So just mugging up formulas and shortcuts will not help you solve a lot of questions. So it is important that you solve various different type of questions of different levels of different topics so that and through those questions you learn concepts so that when these type of questions come in the examination, you are in a better position to solve them. So what is a good source for solving these kind of questions? Of course, the previous year papers, right? So if you sit with the previous year papers of GATE, even the last five to six years, it is going to be a good starting point for you as to where you need to practice these questions from. Since general aptitude is asked across all branches, you, you should look at the papers which are asked in different branches. Right? So five to six years paper of gate of all branches is where you should start your general aptitude preparation from. From those questions, you will get a good idea as to what topics are being asked, what is the level of questions and you will learn concepts through those questions as well. Secondly, on our Telegram channel, Exergix Telegram channel, Exergix YouTube community, we post daily apti questions every day. So these questions are also going to ensure that you take out even just even if it is just five minutes, you take out that five minutes from your daily timetable and you give in that five minutes in solving the question that has been asked. So join that group. 
try to attempt the questions that we post on an everyday basis. There are very different types of topics which are tested. Some day it is a quant question, other day it is a logical reasoning question. We also ask English questions, right? So as I said, it is going to make sure that you take out even if it is just five minutes to solve that particular question. And if you're not able to solve or if you are stuck, then you're going to learn a new concept out of that question. So there is no dearth of good quality questions available freely. You need to take out the time to solve those questions and through those questions learn different concepts. Finally, over the last few years, we have been seeing an increasing emphasis on the logical reasoning section in the general aptitude part of the gate examination. So as I said, just learn mugging up formulae or shortcuts is not going to help you solve many questions because increasingly we are seeing various different type of questions which require a little out of the box thinking. Just last year, we saw so many different type of questions on uh, puzzles, inference, uh, your uh, non-verbal reasoning, spatial reasoning. So these are all the topics that you need to practice, right? Uh, even in our daily aptitude questions, I see very less participation the minute a logical reasoning question is asked, an inference question or a conclusion question or an argument based question. Why are you hesitating in solving these type of questions? The more you practice, the more you're going to exercise your brain in how to tackle these type of questions. What should be your approach? What should be the reasoning behind it, right? So practice more logical reasoning questions in for this particular examination. Verbal ability, hardly it will come for two to three marks. So lesser emphasis on that. More emphasis on logical reasoning as well as even quantitative aptitude but not direct formula based questions. So questions which are actually testing your fundamental understanding of the particular subject and the particular topic. Right. So what are the three points that we discussed? Firstly, you have to fix a time on a daily or weekly basis as per your schedule where you're going to just practice general aptitude. This will give you that necessary break from your technical and core preparation and at the same time ensure that you take out five minutes even if it is just five minutes on an everyday basis for practicing questions. Second, where can you practice these questions from? Five to six years, previous year papers or fall branches general aptitude. Also, the daily apti questions that we post on our Telegram channel and YouTube community. There are 100 plus questions on Exergic's Facebook group also. The links of the Telegram community as well as the Facebook group, everything will be in the description box. You can check it. If you are interested in joining our uh, general aptitude video course, then you can find the details on the website or you can reach us at the number which is given below. Finally, you need to practice more and more questions of logical reasoning, non-verbal reasoning, analytical aptitude, spatial reasoning, whatever name you want to give it. These type of questions you need to practice more and more so that you become comfortable with these different type of questions. To conclude this video, I would say that do not neglect the general aptitude section. If you are thinking uh, that first I will complete all my technical subjects, first I will complete all my core subjects and after that I will do general aptitude, then let me tell you, you will never really get to that point where you have completed all your technical and now I will sit and do general aptitude. Why? Because firstly general aptitude is very vast, right? It has a very indefinite kind of a syllabus. So the more you practice, the more you're going to benefit. Secondly, once your technical subjects are over, you will have to do a lot of things like you have to do revision, you have to write mock tests, you have to analyze those mock tests. So all of these things, once you have to do, you will not get the time to do your general aptitude. So the earlier you start, the better. If you are someone who is already good in general aptitude, if you are comfortable in that section and you are able to solve most of the questions, then also it is mandatory that you solve questions on a regular basis. So in that case, you don't have to allocate one hour or 30 minutes. Just take out 10 minutes on an everyday basis and practice questions. But the more you practice, it is going to ensure that out of that 15 marks, you're going to get at least a 12 plus marks, which in turn is going to really help you with your gate score as well as gate track. So I hope you found this video helpful. All the relevant links will be in the description box. If you have any questions or doubts, please leave them in the comment section below and I will definitely get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. All the very best.